Why you need a deep breath? What's wrong? Because I get nervous. No, don't do that. <laughs> We're supposed to be the ones nervous. Okay. All right. Ground yourself. Grab okay. something. Yeah. Here we go. There you go. That helps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Omari, for other actors watching your career right now, you're making it look very easy, which I know you've talked about how it hasn't been for you. Mm. Um, but, you know, you're, you're in Shot Caller. You're on uh, Power. And you have all these projects going. Uh, let's talk about the hypothetical LA friend that a lot of us have, which mm. is a talented, hardworking actor, but they can't get in a room mm -hmm. because they're not represented by mm -hmm. the right agency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what's your advice for that person? Great way to start an interview, first of all. Um, it's interesting because tonight, uh, for example, I am inviting friends who got off the Hollywood Dream Bus with me who never necessarily were able to execute anything. You know, it's interesting. They'll be at the screening tonight for this film. And, and it's one of those things where we don't have the same level of in common conversation that we once had because life has happened for me differently. And I had to really check in with myself in terms of the team personality in me thought that, and I've always been a part of sports, that everybody that got off the dream bus with me, and what I mean by that is around the same month that you get off the dream bus and you come to LA or New York to make things happen, you get a collective of friends and y'all all start to run the audition circuit. And slowly certain people's pace slows down and others keep going. And my big thing always to those people I'm inviting tonight and to, as you said, um, those that are aspiring actors, my, my wisdom and advice was always, first and foremost, if you can wake up without wanting to do this. You have one morning where you wake up and you go, oh, I don't really want to do this. I would say get out because it's way too difficult. Somebody could ask me, um, are there moments of, of that being defined as being discouraged? And I would go, no, everybody's discouraged. Everybody calls home and goes, I don't know if you know, I should become a rocket scientist, if I should, as a woman, continue in this world of men and corporate spectrums or law or, 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 or medicine or what have you, um, people all get discouraged, including myself and asking mom and dad if I should come back home very early in my journey out here. But I think in terms of the representation part, I decided to not, and this is really my wisdom to them, to not really worry about it. My thought was, you know, if it's looked, if it's looked like it was easier for me than it was, it was because I really pressed hard at the craft the work, the acting classes, making sure that I was in martial arts, if I could add that to the repertoire box um, or the box of tools that I could dig into, if I needed to work on the piano, because one day I could play a character where I played the piano, just work on the craft and don't necessarily worry about the representation. They'll, it'll find you. The right agent will find you, the right manager, the right... Now, am I struggling in terms of wanting even bigger out of my career? While well, there's people not where I'm at going, you look like you made it. I don't know what make it is, you know? I'm, I'm satisfied, I'm so humbled and thankful to God that I'm where I'm at, but there's always more. And so if you focus on the more being attained by you making sure that you do more for yourself, then I don't necessarily think the representation should matter. Again, they, they definitely will always find you. Excellent, thank you, wow. Thank you.